Improved observations are falsifying the Big Bang theory of cosmology. The Webb Space Telescope with a 21.7-foot mirror was placed at a stationary Lagrange point one million miles from Earth in December 2021. Imaging in the infrared, it can see farther than 13 billion light years. A split-screen image of the Phantom Galaxy demonstrates the improvement between the Webb Space Telescope imaging infrared light and the Hubble Space Telescope imaging of visible light. Launched in 1999, the Chandra X-ray Observatory is the largest X-ray telescope in the world. The Event Horizon Radio Telescope allows the worldwide collection of data. The European Space Agency's E. Rosita Space Telescope images the entire sky in the X-ray band. The European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope combines four movable optical mirrors into a giant interferometer. The Webb Telescope reveals massive galaxies already in existence near the predicted time of the Big Bang. Infrared images of early galaxies that are too big to exist, when only embryonic stars are expected by the standard model. Mature, high redshift galaxies are discovered a few million years after the alleged Big Bang. Early galaxies are unexpectedly bright when they should not even be in existence. A massive 13 billion year old bright red galaxy that has four times the stars as the Milky Way. This giant galaxy was born just 800 million years after the Big Bang, before there was time for the dark matter halos required by the standard model to form. A close-up of ZT UDS 7329 reveals her massive size as each kiloparsec equals 3,260 light years of distance across her filaments. Early galaxies are observed to already be gathered into clusters. Early clusters are found wherever we look in the infrared spectrum. Infrared image of two galaxies already merging 500 million years after the Big Bang. The Webb Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Telescope combined to show black holes were formed earlier than expected. Numerous early black holes have been imaged in the infrared by the Webb Telescope. The Webb Telescope's little red dots are claimed to be the very early, small, but extremely massive black holes of quasars. To explain the discovery of numerous massive black holes shortly after the Big Bang, it is now being proposed that they resulted from a gravitational epicycle that combined many tiny black holes. X-ray observations revealed massive galaxy clusters that would take much longer than the age of the Big Bang universe to gravitationally form. The Big Ring with a diameter of 1.3 billion light years.
Mapping of synchrotron radiation reveals the magnetic fields of the distant, massive El Gordo cluster with hundreds of galaxies. The giant arc spans 3.3 billion light years and falsifies the cosmological principle that the universe is smooth at large scales. The E. Rosita's all sky survey of cosmic X-ray sources reveal more than 12,000 galaxy clusters. The web infrared imaging of 19 nearby galaxies reveals electrical plasmoids generating stars along filaments instead of black holes consuming stars at their center. Much like the old fable, the Big Bang naked emperor may finally be exposed by the reality of improved observations. The infinite, static universe results from electromagnetic processes in a plasma. Instead of being formed by gravity, held together by dark matter, and expanded by dark energy. Engulfed within an eternal, electrically neutral and conducting black ionized gas plasma, accounted for by electromagnetic crystal matrices of molecular hydrogen atoms, naked protons, and free electrons, the infinite universe of light is alive with vascular filaments connecting the living quantum bodies born into the plasma. Physical matter is not created by gravity. The observable gravity exhibited between mass objects may simply be a measurable manifestation of their quantum relativity. The imaginary space-time of standard model relativity is replaced by the reality of the existence and movement of quantum mass and its light through and its electromagnetic interaction with the surrounding plasma. Manifested gravitationally, there is a quantum electromagnetic relationship between moons, planets, stars, mother galaxies, and their family clusters. Quantumly, it is what it is. Stars, galaxies, and their family clusters are connected by massive filaments of electricity from which they are born in the molecular dust of the plasma. Birth results from a random Z-pinch along a filament of electromagnetic current producing a brilliant and powerful arc of energy. In the infinite universe, there is no arrow of time. And in the absence of observation, every particle of physical mass simultaneously moves timelessly relative to other mass to which it is quantumly bound. Unless observed, the currents of photonic light waves are continuous and they timelessly connect the source and the destination. When observed, the speed of light in the plasma appears to be constant. Cosmic voids of dark plasma exist between majestic Birkeland currents of electricity and the galaxies and clusters they connect. The timeless and infinite universe of light gives birth to physical mass that lives and dies in a quantum relationship with other mass. The physical mass of the universe includes sentient beings of organic life who have ob evolved observant, tolerant, and quantum minds which become increasingly aware of self and surroundings. Galaxies and their clusters are connected by massive electromagnetic filaments in the plasma. When imaged by X-ray and radio telescopes, the universe of light is seen to be filled with a web of filaments connecting all observable matter. 
electrical filaments surrounding a galaxy. The Radcliffe wave chain of gaseous clouds was observed creating new stars nearby within our Milky Way galaxy. Instead of clouds of gas, the oscillating wave is clearly an electrical filament. Unseen in the visible light spectrum, filaments are massive currents of electricity in the dark plasma encircled by magnetic fields. Stars, quasars, and galaxies are created in the molecular dust of the plasma by magnetic z-pinches in filaments, causing electrical arcs and massive discharges of energy, superheating the local plasma. When a z-pinch arcs along one of a mother galaxy's electromagnetic filaments within her plasma dust, the instantaneous release of massive energy causes the molecular gas cloud to contract and ionize. A new star is born out of the compressed plasma dust, and she commences the fusion of hydrogen at her core. The daughter star begins to spin to produce her own magnetic field in the plasma and to generate the stellar energy required to nourish her daughter planets and their families of organic life. Once a new star or galaxy is electromagnetically born, her electrical attraction begins to concentrate and illuminate her own molecular dust cloud of plasma around her. In a universe alive with mother galaxies, some are being born and some are dying. Imaged are old galaxies that no longer make stars. The oldest viewed thus far by Webb is almost 13 billion years old. Filaments of the Virgo supercluster that contains 150 large galaxies, including the Milky Way, and more than 1,000 dwarf galaxies. The Erosita telescope images of the longest discovered filament and its surrounding gas spanning 50 million light years across the sky as it connects three galaxy clusters. The Phantom Galaxy, imaged in the infrared by the Webb telescope, reveals the fractal geometry of her electrical filaments and stars. the electromagnetic birth of a new star in the molecular dust of the plasma. Strings of stars being born along a filament in the plasma and illuminating the surrounding gas. The DOE's dark energy camera captured the burst of new stars in the Burns 149 nebula. series of stars being created along filaments in the Orion molecular cloud. New stars birthing baby planets. Gravity, as a manifestation of a star's formation, produces fusion at its core, from which heat slowly flows to the surface. While the temperature of the sun's surface is 10,340 degrees Fahrenheit, its atmosphere is 300 times hotter due to the electricity generated by the sun's rotation in the plasma. The sun's electromagnetic processes are clearly visible in the image, where one second of sunlight equals 24 hours of observation. the sun's magnetic field extends beyond the planets that form her heliosphere. 
the electromagnetic relationship of the sun and her earthly child. The sun's radiation of electromagnetic energy is revealed by the auroras produced by the Earth's magnetic field at its poles. Radio telescopes detect electromagnetic radiation being emitted from galactic cores. Gamma ray jets extend 27,000 light years above and below the 105,700 light years diameter of the Milky Way's filaments. Meerkat radio images of the Milky Way center reveal discharge of 1,150 light years long magnetic filaments. Radio image of Sagittarius A star at the core of the Milky Way reveals a plasmoid with spiraling magnetic fields, not a black hole. Instead of black holes that consume stars, the centers of galaxies and quasars are massive plasmoids that create stars. Plasmoids are coherent structures of plasma and magnetic fields. The laboratory creation of a plasmoid. Exploring a universe created by electromagnetism rather than gravity, many mysteries remain to be solved. Hans Alvin, 1970 Nobel Laureate in Physics for his theory of an electromagnetic plasma universe has now been vindicated. With respect, this presentation used clips from the following public videos. This non-commercial presentation includes dozens of images found on the internet and used with great appreciation, but without proper attribution due to the impossibility of identifying and contacting owners of the original sources. If the owner of any such image objects to its use, please email the author with details and the image will be removed. The author especially thanks Eric J. Lerner in his book, The Big Bang Never Happened, for introducing evidence disproving the standard model of cosmology, and Professor Louis Marmet for his invitation to join a cosmology group where dissident scientists have the freedom to disagree with settled science and to publish alternative theories refused by the mainstream authorities. Dedicated to Christian Berkelin, Edwin Hubble, and Hans Alden, who discovered the electromagnetic plasma universe and whose work has been mischaracterized and misused by the gravitationalists, who defend the false Big Bang cosmology by ignoring and disparaging all challenges. Music by Scott Buckley and Johannes Brahms. To be presented by William John Cox at the Science of Consciousness Conference in Tucson, Arizona, April the 22nd through the 27th, 2024. Greatly appreciated, Abby Montefiore and Stuart Hameroff at the Center for Consciousness Studies, University of Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, for making this presentation possible.